Hey all, John Hands Connect here. Um, I just got the Neoden YY1 pick and place machine, and um, I just there there's a limited amount of videos online about how to do things, um, but I just wanted to go ahead and make this video. Hopefully, it helps some people. Um, let's say I have this board that um, it's an array. It, it's panelized. And I just need to stuff some LEDs up here, a couple of diodes, and a resistor on each board. Well, I could output from Eagle, which is what I used to design the printed circuit board. I could output all the location data automatically. I actually wrote a user language program to do that. But here I'm just going to show you the manual way to do this. What you do is you... Slip in your board and just make sure that this lower left corner is against that that uh, little screw. And this is down there. Sometimes I'll throw in one of these magnetic things just to keep it so that the board can't move at all. All right, so that's the location. This is the zero zero point in the memory of this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to say add new. And I'll call it uh, 221. Okay, that's that's the board designation. And um, let's see, where did it just appear? There it is, 221. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Edit Component. And it's wanting the first component. Where do you want it placed? Well, what I typically do is is type mid Y first and let's say I'll type 50 and we're gonna see the head moves over to its 0 50 0 being the very edge of that board you can see on this down looking camera that that is the 0 in X and it's at a Y of 50 right now so now that it's moved I can hit this fast button I can move it around and uh, what it's doing is the camera is moving over the component thing. And oh, it turned out that 50 was pretty much. So now I've switched. You can switch between fast and slow. I'm on slow now, and I'm walking it over a little, looking at the camera. All right, that's the exact center point of that LED right there. And so you could call this diode 1 or D1 and you could give it a name. You don't have to though. What you do have to do is tell it the rotation of this. It turns out I made a little chart and you'll want to do the same of all the parts that I have loaded in the different uh, feeders. And I made a chart of what the rotations are for different parts. Because, for example, when it picks up a relay from here, uh, its rotation might be different than if it picked it up from a feeder. Or when it pulls something out of the stick feeder, it's different. Anyway, so I made a handy lookup chart. So anyway, I know that I'm going to put a green LED here. That's item number 16. So it's feeder number 16. Okay, and it's and I know that... I want that LED pointed up, and so on my handy chart, I uh, say that's a rotation of 90. Okay, that component is completely done. We don't, I'm going to do mount speed 100%, pick height is 0, and place height is 0, because the 0 of your average board is on the surface, and the average pickup is also at 0 millimeters. Mode 1, it's going to look at the camera it, and uh, verify its angle and verify that it's present. Uh, there are other modes. You could have mode 2, which is vacuum. Mode 3 is camera and vacuum. And mode 4 is a big IC camera. And so it's taking a picture of it. It's seeing if it needs to make a minor change to the rotation based on machine vision. Anyway, we're done with that component, so let's add another component. Alright, now we're going to hit the fast button. 
we're going to move from the location it's at. And this is where the other LED goes, right there. And I don't have to give it a designation. Its rotation is the same as the previous. I don't have to change it. The feeder is the same as the previous. I don't have to change it. And so I'm just going to say add component again. And this is the third component, three of three coming in. And I'm going to step it over till the crosshairs are aligned on the center of the pads. And I'm going to say add component again. Now, what do I want? I want my 10K resistor. That's feeder number 18. So I'm on. So that's where my resistor goes, right there. I've moved to that position. Sometimes you got to go to slow mode and just inch it to the very center of the component. This one's also 90 degrees. And I said 10K is feeder number 18. Okay. So it's taking care of those items. Uh, right next to it is a signal diode. So I'm going to say add component. And I've gone to where a signal diode goes. And I just know because I designed the board that I need my cathode on the right. I go to my little lookup, that's rotation zero. So for this item number five, it's rotation zero and my 4148 diodes are on feeder six. So there we go, feeder six. All right, so um, I got one more diode to place on the board. Oops, I can't move away from this. There's the position that it needs for that diode. And I started to move away before I said add component. So now I've got component number six on this board. And that's all we're going to do is six components. I'm going to go over to that position. And there you can see it coming into view on this camera. And there's pretty much the center. I can center it up a little more. This is a 1206 size pad right now. Um, so anyway, that's the sixth component. And uh, I don't have to name it again. I just, I'm just making this board real, real quick. And um, its rotation is vertical. I need I need my anode on the bottom and cathode on the top. So that's rotation 90. And we're done. And so everything's good, but let's see. What did I forget to do? Anybody know? Anybody know what I did? Head number 1. I just did head number 1 for all of them. But so here it's moving around to the different positions. Well, it's going to be a lot faster doing the pick in place if I go head one, head two, and they both move off to the camera, verify, and then come over to place. So, component one is on head one. Component two, let's make head two. Component three is head one. Component four, let's make it head two. Component five is head one. And component six, we're going to make head two. Okay, we're done. We're, we're ready. But this is a panelized board, right? So I'm going to exit and save. Now i got to tell it that it's panelized. So what it's going to ask is how many? How many in the row? Well, there's three panels. So we're going to say there's three across. And it wants the unit it calls this length. I would have called that width, but let me measure it real quick. Um, there, it there, it's forty-eight point one nine. Forty-eight point one nine, and it's asking for the you know width, which is height. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to enter it anyway. Seventy-two. 
Okay. And then I'm going to exit and save. All right. So we've made it. We've, we've made this file and it's ready to run. So I don't have solder paste on it, but I don't. Well, hold on. I'll pause a minute and then I'll solder paste it. Okay, I'm back. I applied some solder paste. I just did it with a syringe because I didn't want to get out my stencil. Uh, but here we're ready to go. We're still in number 221. I'm going to mount it. And all I have to do is hit the go button. So I grabbed two items. These are the LEDs going down. And an LED and a resistor. And there goes the two diodes. Okay, they're placed. Now what's happening is it's picking it up and you'll see it takes a picture every time. This one is a down looking camera that doesn't mean much to us. And well, we just had a bad pick. And we had a bad pick because my tape is not retracting. There it goes. I don't know what the answer for that is. Sometimes the tape doesn't want to retract. But anyway, you can see it's doing the array. It's working on the third board right now. So I only had to tell it where to place everything on the first board. And it went ahead and made three boards. Um, just because I told it it was an array. Now, I told you that the um, fiducial is the lower left-hand corner of this board. But it doesn't always have to be. If you want to do a board here, for example, I have uh, this board where I stuff the front of it with all kinds of stuff, and I'll reflow that. Then I want to flip it over and just add these three LEDs. Well, in this position, if it's flipped over, there's a relay in the way. Um, and so it doesn't fit onto this particular point. But because they have these magnetic things, I can make a section up here where it precisely will fit upside down. Now I can go to that file. And uh, I believe it was, yeah, 2382 LEDs is my file. And um, I built this one the same way, but instead of um, coming down here, I just told it the three LEDs were there. So I'm going to go ahead and mount that and hit run. And you'll see that it places the three LEDs over there. So your board can be anywhere on this platform. It doesn't. But even if it's over here, you'd never want to move these uh, holders because it is all referenced to this as the zero, zero point. So there you have it. That's, uh, that's enough for today. Um, I did do some special things once this arrived. I took off the strip feeders that were here and I 3D printed uh, this that holds some PIC microcontrollers and some relays. Here's my tube feeder. It seems to work well for, for this particular item. It wasn't working well for feeding the uh, PIC microcontrollers. It's like the vibration's not strong enough. And uh, this is a section over here that can become a bulk feeder. And I just took a strip. These are piezos that it can pick up. And uh, it's a really interesting thing. If, if you tell it that this is a, a bulk feeder, it knows it'll pick up from here and then it just remembers where it picked up from last. So it indexes over, indexes over, and it does an array to pick them up. Same this, I told it that it was a vertical column of 10 pieces. And so it just cycles through the array. Anyway, I'm really happy with the Neoden YY1. Um, it takes a little bit of uh, understanding. And I do need to understand why my tape feeder sometimes doesn't pull. I think I just have a tape that has heavy glue on it. All right, see you later.